Well, we're back aboard Laura Maisie after a fab few days with Percy in uh, Gloucestershire and South Wales. And I'm doing a bit of video editing and Fran's doing a bit of weaving. Yeah, I missed Maloom a little bit while we're away, but um, there are ways and means of weaving in a little van and I'll show you that at some point. Um, but talking about Percy, we had so many comments um, on the last video, so many people really supporting us and as excited as we are about our travels, but also people wanted to have a little look around the van. So while we were away, we did a little bit of filming for you. Which I'm editing now. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoy a little look around Percy and uh, thanks for watching. Percy is a 2018 Eldest Majestic 115 to birth motorhome. Uh, it's got a Peugeot Boxer 2.2 litre diesel engine and coming around the side here we've got the locker for the leisure battery just the one and I think it's lead acid. We have hookup should we need it for 240 volt and next to it here we've got a water point for an external shower. So that'll come in handy when the dogs get a bit mucky and uh, we need to hose them down before they come on board. Here's the external tap for emptying the fresh water tank when we've put it in storage. Two bike rack for the back, which would be great because uh, I'd like to bring my bike on our travels at some point. We've got the cassette toilet box just there which we don't have on the boat. We have a separating toilet on the boat, but that is so easy, especially in little places like this where you've got the facilities to empty. Fresh water inlet there. And coming around the side, we have Franz inside, busying herself, making it look pretty for you. Here is the gas bottle storage. This is the hose for the external shower. And that's about it externally. We've got the uh, awning, which is there. And oh yeah, we've got a barbecue gas connector here, so we can uh, have a barbecue should we wish. It says there, do not use gas barbecue in awning. So they go and put it on the side where the awning is. Come inside. Here's Fran, she's been cleaning up inside for you. So in here, Fran, we've got... We've got various, the cupboard space is brilliant, and these has got these nifty little locks that stop the cupboards from opening when you're going along. We've got a microwave which is never going to be used because we don't use microwaves anyway but if you need to once you're on hook up we can use the microwave. We like to use off grid though don't we? be off grid. Yeah I mean it's there in the emergency if you were on a campsite with hook up it's there but we don't think we need that. So we've got a crockery cupboard here um, just with minimum bits and pieces that is enough for two of us and this is a dry foods cupboard and the coffee and a few spices um, we've got the Thetford cooker with three gas rings and an electric ring um, so we've got the option of using gas or if we're on a hookup we could use the hookup and use the electric and we've also got a gas oven and a grill look at that whoever had this van before clearly did not like cooking because look how good they are, they're just <laughs> brand new, amazing. And we've got pots and pans just underneath and again we're just managing with minimum if we've got, and I've got to just show you, we've brought this steamer, we've bought a new one from the boat. It has a pan underneath, two steaming um, steamers on top and that just can cook everything really and one frying pan, that's all we're aiming to use. So that neatly stuck away underneath and a lovely fridge and the fridge is fantastic because it can run again on gas or electric um, and it's brilliant so when we are traveling you put it onto the 12 volts and it just keeps it cool when we park we can put it onto gas and that actually will chill it and if you're on shoreline i keep calling shoreline, it that yeah, it's not a shoreline if we're hooked up that's got another setting to hook up to proper electric so that's fabulous, although we've hardly used it because when you're going along, it chills it enough just to keep it cold for us at the moment. So that's been fine. Above um, you, there's an electric fan which can blow air in or suck air out. 
Which is really effective when you're cooking, isn't it? It is, because it's a tiny space. We've cooked a couple of curries already and it would get a bit smelly. So that's um, that's really good, um, good addition. And then we've got this extensive bathroom. <laughs> with a Thetford cassette toilet, a little sink and this fabulous shower. So you can't really have a full blown shower in there. There is a curtain that comes across from here. So it's quite cozy, but what we've found is you can actually hose yourself off, soap down and then just hose off again. Um, so it's not like standing for 10 minutes under a shower, but of course we're on minimum water usage anyway. So it's we were a bit concerned about that, but it's been fine, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, been, like, it's been fabulous. It's yeah. been a tight squeeze for me, but you know, yeah. it's, it it's, does the job. It's enough it? to keep us clean, isn't it? And behind you, you've got a couple of cupboards for bathroom stuff. That isn't wine, by the way. What have you got? No, here? that's my shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does say shampoo because I just wanted to bring a little bottle with me. I don't me. know why you come out of the toilet sometimes <laughs> a bit wobbly. Yeah. Um, that's that. Oh, that's really and another little worktop over. Oh, I forgot, actually. I'm trying to step Look over dogs here. Little chopping board that oh, comes excellent. out from there. So it just gives you a little bit of extra space. And these lids close down, the lid closes down on the hob as well. So you've got room for washing up and preparing your food. It's great having the cooker, the kitchen area at the back, isn't it? Because whoever's cooking or making coffee or it isn't getting in the way of anybody else who's sat down. What you mean is... When you're cooking. When I'm cooking, <laughs> I'm not getting in the way of you sat down. Is that right? Yeah, Don't you? like that. You've done breakfasts a few days, so... We've got a series of uh, drawers down there and... Uh, large cupboard at the bottom for bits and bobs and cutlery etc. We're not quite organised with all no, that yet. You don't it takes, see you know. takes some time to get sorted out. Um, and this unit is really good again for food prep. We've got a drawer here and more food storage under here for heavier things. I made the mistake of having olive oil in that cupboard on one journey and as we opened the cupboard once we'd stopped it came crashing out. So heavy stuff is down there light stuff is at the top um actually that's mostly full of dog food i have to say that cupboard and dog treats <laughs> and we're keeping although i think you are allowed to drink the water or it's recommended you can drink the water out of the tank but we're tending to have bottles of drinking water which we're filling up um, and using the tank water for teas and coffees once it's boiled but for fresh water we're having it bottled and you'll notice on the wall there there's a television bracket which we've not used there's a television in there 12 volt TV which we're, we're not, not going to use, use. we're going to we're going to leave it here because if we ever do decide to sell the van obviously somebody else might want it and we're not going to just throw it away but we're not using it and we've bought our trusty little dongle from the boat for our wi-fi that's brilliant isn't it we've had no problems we can watch no. videos on youtube and as, as we do on the boat with it it's yeah. uh, a little wi-fi unit and it's fine yeah. connected to ee and as you can see, we've got three pin sockets for when we're hooked up um, and some USB sockets here for charging various bits and pieces. Basic control panel for the electrics, voltage, status. Press that button, it tells you the status of the water tank. Don't think either of those are very accurate. Water pump switch and uh, lights, etc. Awning lights for outside. And over here we've got the heating and the hot water controls. So you press that to get the hot water. And again, you can either have that on gas or electric or a mixture of both. And the hot water actually gets warm in about 15 minutes. It's, it's brilliant. brilliant. And there's a heating control, which again is the same. It's on gas or electric. And there's um, blowers that come out from beneath the seats. And we tried that one evening, the night it went down to three, we had it on for about 20 minutes. That was all and it got really warm and stayed warm, didn't it? It did, it was fabulous. Yeah. Underneath this side, we've got the fuse box for when we're plugged in and a uh, bit of storage and the vents for the heating. And underneath this one is just gas pipes and the hot water tank. And the dog's not gonna move, no. look at Jess. <laughs> When we picked the van up, there was carpet down here in the uh, kitchen area and also in the living area. But with two dogs on board, that was just going to get filthy quickly in no time. It took us two days to realise that. So we carefully rolled it up and stored it in what is supposed to be the wardrobe. 
But, um, Which yes. has fast become a storage area for stuff we just want to hide. All our clothes are in, all of my clothes are in one locker for when we come away. We're just living really simply and it's fine. So we found this uh, covering, didn't we, which is ideal. Stop the dog scratching the floor over there. And it's insulated. It's actually really warm on your feet. And we have stayed on here um, one night, which was just three degrees. Um, and it was fine. That just keeps our feet warm and protects the floor. So that was brilliant. So we've got two sofas, which obviously make up into a double bed. And it, that is really comfortable, isn't it? And the spacious. It's massive. So comfortable. Yeah, really. really is. And we're getting quicker. You have to take the cushions off and fold it out. But it's... The first couple of nights it was a little bit of which goes where, but we got really quick at it now, haven't we? We've got a lovely roof light which has uh, a blind and also a fly screen that you pull from the other end. Superb. And also the same with the windows, they've got blinds and fly screens too. And this lifts right up for ventilation, or you can just have it a little bit down just to um, get some air airflow through. Now we, we sit here at, at night, don't we, on these sofas because they're so comfortable and we lean up against like the back this, there like that. Just yeah. like this and it's lovely. <laughs> and we did start having these chairs swiveled round, the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat turned around and we're sitting on those with our feet up on the uh, sofas. But we don't bother anymore, do we? Because no. that's so comfortable there. And I know that some people do turn these seats right round and bring them right up to the sofa. And that will actually almost make a single bed. So if people don't want to make the double bed up, but we like the double bed made up for what time it takes, mm. it's better. So that just leaves the uh, cabin area. Where it's pretty standard stuff. There's um, cruise control. We've got a little media unit there you can connect the phone to um, and that is basically it that is Percy in a nutshell so that's about it for our little tour of Percy it's um, still a little bit basic in as much as making it personal for us we've got a few little pictures to go up and uh, yeah just want to make it our own really we also need a cup holder to go on here somewhere. Or a little fold up uh, shelf or something. Or a shelf. Yeah. The person sitting here hasn't got anywhere to put a drink in the evening. But yeah, apart from that, that's our home. We are newbies to this motorhome lark. So if you've got any hints that you'd like to share with us, pop them in the comments below. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you soon. Ta-ra. Bye. -bye.